welcome back everybody in this video I'm going to cover my hitch that I uh, installed prior to getting the spike rack installed so some of you may have seen my video already on the bike rack how it's all set up and uh, and how you get the bikes on and off and the load how much it can carry and everything so I'm gonna put uh, a link to that video in the description below if you haven't seen that video already you're gonna want to watch it um, so in this one like I said I'm gonna cover the hitch receiver how I built it and installed it um, some trailers and RVs come with a the receiver already so you're going to want to check out and make sure it's capable of handling the weight of this uh, bike rack if you install one or if you're going to carry things in the back of your RV um, you're going to want to make sure that uh, it can handle the weight so I'm going to bring in close here and show you what I did to make this receiver hitch the bars when you buy adjustable ones it has um, a tube here here where they slide in and out and then they bolt in place when you use those you can't carry as much weight as I have here for my setup um, they aren't designed to do that so I went with this bar here it's a tube and it's quarter inch thick and I it was easy to put in so I had to build it and weld things so some of you might not have a welder you can search online and try and find something that will fit in between this space here so this worked out real well so I'm gonna bring you in close to show you what I did I was very fortunate that this bumper can be removed most of them are welded here and over there so it's in place so you can't remove the bumper but this bumper has bolts over here where I can unbolt it and remove the bumper. So what I did is I removed the bumper and then let's see if I could bring you in close to show you what I did. I took my measurement between the frame rails and I took this uh, two inch tube by quarter inch thick and welded a plate on each end. And I was able to bolt it to my frame, right, with the extra bolts here. And this is the bolt that was holding the bumper on. So I, I drilled everything out and I was able to bolt this in place after I welded everything together. And then I bolted the uh, bumper back on and I drilled holes in my plate for the bumper. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. From the other side here, you can see these two bolts are holding the bumper in place. And so I have the plate goes here. So they bolt through the plate. And then I have these bolts here and washers into the plate also so this is really solid it worked out really well here uh, it took a lot of thinking on what to do but it was uh, fairly easy to do because I used to be a welder then where the receiver is located I was able to purchase one of these receivers online so um, and then I got some gussets I was able to buy this steel at a local um, metal supply shop and, uh, and the receiver online and I'll put a link to that in the description below I have the gussets here that I have for strength because if I didn't have these here there'd be a lot of stress right at this point here and I wanted to spread that out dis distribute the weight across this whole area so I welded those in place. So if you're going to build one, there's different lengths of these um, that you can purchase. I measured everything out prior to see what my distance would be once I bolted it on the frame down there, here, so it'd stick out just a little bit like that. Um, I didn't want to have a really long one because if it's long, this can be way out here 
and then there'll be more leverage here and and uh, weight on this whole area so I wanted the shortest one I could get in place so that it'd be stronger so if you go to buy one that's pre-made you're gonna want to check your distance of where this would end up once it's bolted onto the frame or welded onto the frame and while I'm down here I could have welded it to the frame but I felt that this would be stronger to do it this way rather than weld it to the frame which is a, a little bit thinner steel um, so it's a, a stronger uh, hitch for me receiver so this worked out really well one thing I wanted to do when I built this was I wanted my receiver as close as I could to the bumper so this would be as high as possible so if I went up, went up uh, up or down a driveway approach nothing over here would be scraping um, I'm fortunate because I have these here to help if I if I get a hit a driveway approach I'll be able to feel it or hear it and, uh, and then know hey I'm gonna have trouble here or also my uh, stabilizers would be hitting too so this is a nice thing to have on this travel trailer um, some of the units that you can buy online this receiver would be lower and I didn't want that I didn't want this even getting close to possibly hitting anything so that's something you're gonna watch for if you buy one or make one you're gonna want to make sure that uh, it clears everything um, if you want you can go ahead and maybe show a fabricator this video and they can build something similar to this um, have somebody weld it up for you I'm not sure what the cost would be for that if um, you had to have that done but that's an option for you or you could search online is really search and you might find something that will fit perfectly in there well, that's it for this video, everybody. Feel free to leave comments down below the video here. And uh, maybe you can share your experiences with uh, receiver hitches that you have on your trailer. Um, if you've had any problems or anything welds breaking, anything like that. Or um, just a comment to let me know what you think about this video. And also, uh, what you think about the products I used on it. I appreciate that. We all learn from each other, so feel free to read the comments, and uh, we can all learn from uh, comments together. That's why we're all here, is to share things that we do, and also to uh, better ourselves for doing modifications to our own travel trailers and saving money rather than hiring somebody out. Um, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos that I come out with. I do my best to put them out there for everybody um, to, help, to help you save money and not have to pay a shop to do the work. And also educate you on what to do and what, what to buy rather than just kind of doing it on your own. Hopefully I save you some time and money. So with that, feel free to like and share this. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you like. And like I said, feel free to leave comments. I appreciate it. Take care, everybody, and happy camping.